Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking you through Act 7.1.4, the fourth quest in Act 7.1. And I'm going to show you the path that I took for my initial clear, and I felt it was the easiest. Now, that's the easiest for me. You need to look at these paths and evaluate them based on your roster. All right, now... This path that I'm taking is the colorblind path. So that means you do not want to have the same class on your team duplicated. Okay, so you've got to have one of each class, which is what you see that I've done. All right, um, you also have the globals, of course, six stars, get more damage. But this path is a little bit more roster dependent than the others. And you'll see what I mean as we go along the path. All right, now I popped those boosts just because they were expiring. I actually had a 30% boost expiring, so I had to use it. All right, so in this first fight, uh, and if you looked at the nodes, you'll see that skill champions get a boost, okay? That's why I'm going in here with Nick Fury. All right, and as you can see, Nick Fury is just eating this Gladiator Hulk alive. And the real Nick Fury's not even out. So yeah, I got caught a little bit by that, um, but it doesn't matter. Nick Fury is just a beast. And he gets that extra from the node and it's it's gonna be lights out, Gladiator Hulk, as you can see here. All right, so here I'm just trying to bait out Gladiator Hulk Special 2. And I didn't look and he had Smash activated and I got smashed, okay? So I'm just like, okay, real Nick Fury is still not out. Now, the reason I'm not really worried about it, uh, you will see a little bit later on, all right? So to review, colorblind means you don't wanna have two of the same class on your team. If you do, you're gonna be taking degen damage and it's not gonna be a good time. Not only that, but if you want to make the most of this path, you want to have different classes. So take a look at my opponents and you're gonna to wanna to bring in a counter of a particular class for each of these. And when we look at the nodes, you'll see why. See the Tech Wrath? Before it was Skill Wrath. Now it's Tech Wrath. And that's why I am using Ghost. All right, so every fight on this path is gonna have a boost for a particular class. Now, it doesn't mean you have to bring in, you know, every single class or that you have to fight uh, tech when it's tech wrath. You can fight someone else or, or use someone else if you want to. But to make the most of this path, you want to bring counters and preferably the class that's getting a boost on that node. So first one, you can beat Gladiator Hulk with a variety of champions, but I brought in, since I had to bring in, you know, different classes, I brought in Nick Fury. You can bring in someone else, Blade, if you if you have Blade. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, these guys, if you know how to fight them, you're good, okay? You saw that I was able to take down uh, Storm Pyramid X without too much difficulty. All right, now this fight, I hate fighting Nick Fury because you have to kill him twice. All right, now we've got Brute Force and we also have Mutant Wrath this time, okay? There we go, Omega Red. Now you can bring in um, really any mutant that you feel is a good counter. Now at this particular point in time, Omega Red is still bugged. He's been fixed. But here he's bugged, so that's why I wasn't doing uh, a lot of extra damage um, when my death field was active here, okay? And you can see, you know, we've got the 10 spores on him. Um, we've locked that in, so he is getting some damage, but uh, his damage was severely uh, lower, all right? Um, but I didn't know, I brought him in, but what really helps me out, kind of balances it a little bit, is that this is my six star. 
And remember the global. I'm getting that permanent uh, attack boost. As you can see up in the uh, left-hand corner there, um, I have two of them activated. That's because of the Mutant Wrath, and he's a six-star. So that's kind of um, countering it, all right? But uh, if you know how to fight Nick Fury, uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this. Uh, this fight here, because I have to kill him twice, it, it is annoying. Uh, but we do know how to fight Nick Fury. Uh, we're just right, at this point, we're just trying to get him you know to the real nick fury and that's when he gets even more dangerous because he does a lot more damage when the real nick fury is out and he's stun immune all right so you've got to get your ends you know in another way now what i was doing here i was trying to get a little bit more health before i pushed him to his next phase because i know that i can't um parry stun him so i'm gonna have to take blocked hits and then uh you know get my uh ends and i fired that special one because i wanted to push him to a special two not a special one because i can't evade that special one but the special two easy to evade all right so at this point i'm just trying to let the dgen do its work but i got impatient and that's why i started hitting him i got him with that heavy a little bit all right um and he's just ticking down all right, now I don't have death field active. This Omega Red is not awakened, but it doesn't really matter too much. All right, now see he's unblockable here, and that's why I wanted him to have his special two ready when he was unblockable. Okay, and here he's still unblockable. He's got that special one, so I'm trying to go in there, and he got me good, but I was able to bait out a heavy, but you know, we're getting in. It's getting close, man. I'm at 13%. All right, now he's got a special two. I wanted to make sure I pushed him to a special two because um, he would take me out with that special one. All right, and see, I was degen in here. And I'm like, okay, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. And boom, 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 we got him down. Barely, 3%. Could have fought that a lot better, but I'm still standing and he's not. All right, and because of the way the path is set up, I knew that I wasn't gonna need to use him for any of the other fights, really. All right, so now we've got the next one, and this one is Science Wrath. Okay, so you already know who I'm gonna be bringing in for Science. Yep, we're gonna bring in that Wasp. All right, so Wasp already hits hard, okay? And you can see she's got the class advantage here. She's gonna wreck. Okay, uh, this wasp is rank three, six star. So I got the permanent fury from the global for her being a six star. Got the global from the node. And of course I'm boosted as well, but just look at the damage that she's doing, okay? It's, it's a good time to have wasp. Uh, that's who I used to become throne breaker. I took her up because I'm always bringing her with Ghost. That's my normal questing team. Ghost, Hood, Wasp, and then two others uh, for, you know, whatever nodes I'm going to be dealing with. Okay? Just look at that, man. She is a beast. I had no regrets taking her up to rank three. All right? Wouldn't mind having her uh, awaken, but she doesn't really need it. Only reason I would like to have her awaken is because uh, it would be more prestige for me that's all all right so next fight sentinel all right and this one is cosmic wrath all right now did not bring a cosmic now remember what i told you earlier that it doesn't really mean that you have to fight with that class so here we've got cosmic wrath it's not a six star it's just old little ghost and yeah i messed up there don't look at that um but ghost can do this just fine no problem it'll uh take a little bit longer than uh it would have if i brought my six star in uh but i didn't bring the six star because the six star is not dupe and i wanted to get more um power gain 
from her being awakened. And this ghost is SIG 200. Okay. So we're fighting Sentinel. It's very annoying to fight him. All right. Um, you want to alternate your attacks or else he's going to build up those analysis charges much faster. Um, but as you can see, we're just chipping away at him. I get hit with that. Of all things, I got hit with a special one. You could tell I'm a little tired. Uh, even though I've been putting these videos out um, one per day, I actually did my entire initial clear same day, sat down, just knocked it all out. So, and I haven't taken a break. So I'm a little bit, you know, tired at this point here. Uh, so I'm making, you know, a few mistakes. I'm trying to build up to a special two. I don't want him to get full analysis. And if you saw that I dashed back um, and did a light attack, that's a way to uh, keep him from getting the uh, analysis charge that you would if you just blocked the special. All right, now we're close here. He got 100%, but we were able to get him down uh, without too much difficulty. You know, we messed up once, but we got him down. All right, now, last fight before the boss the champion all right and this one is mystic wrath so of course i'm bringing in hood uh the hood is actually a really good counter for the champion uh i have used the hood against uh i think when the champion was in the event quest i used the hood i didn't have him ranked up to five this uh hood is ranked five at the time he was still ranked four and he did the fight but he was a bit slow but we've got that fury from the node mystic wrath and as you can see we're just tearing him up we we shouldn't have to worry about his unstoppable and all that stuff because we want to keep him staggered okay so uh with hood that's pretty much what i'm doing just regular attacks when I get to a special two, uh, I want to keep that because that is going to put that uh, fate seal on him. So he will not be able to get any buffs, including that unstoppable. All right. So that's pretty much uh, the fight in a nutshell. Uh, build up to that special two. You know, I've got that stagger. You want to make sure you keep that stagger on him. So be aggressive if you're using the hood uh another option here would be black widow clairvoyant uh she would work excellent i couldn't bring her didn't have the room because i had to bring the hood for the ghost synergy uh or at least i like to do that i didn't have to but i like having him uh on the team there and he's a good champion that's why i rank fived him because just like with wasp I'm always bringing him along with me. And I know that sometimes I need him. So I want to have him, you know, nicely ranked up. All right. So that was the path. Pretty straightforward and easy. You want to make sure that you bring the proper counters. All right. Now, this is something new to 7.1. You can switch out a champion. Now, remember... I did not have any room for, you know, certain other ones, okay? Like my Corvus here. Um, but at this point in time, I can swap in a champion, okay? Now, I decided to use that um, Omega Red. Now, keep in mind, he's low health, but I want you to watch what the health does. All right, look at the health of Corvus. He's up to full. So when you swap out, you can't swap out champions that are knocked out. But you can swap out any champion that's alive, and the one that gets swapped in will go to full health. Very nice touch, all right? So you see the nodes that you're dealing with here, Heavy Assault, Lazarus, um, Rust and Ruin. Um, this is why I brought in Corvus. Now, the drawback, is that Corvus has no charges at this point, but I am running suicides, all right? Now, I'm gonna tell you first off, I messed up. One thing with Corvus 
is you want to manage those charges. And I don't like long fights. So if I use up my charges, I have to wait like what seems like an eternity for those uh, charges to come back. Now, as you can see here, she's at 85% health and look at my charges. I'm down to six charges already. So I already know that this fight is gonna be one of those long fights that I don't like. All right, so uh, I'm sitting here just doing the medium light medium at this point. Um, I should have just went ahead and used up the charges real quick, but I wanted to get that heavy attack in because of the heavy assault node. Uh, so I did some good damage. Now she's unblockable, so I need to stay away from her right now uh, or hit into her block or do something, but basically be careful uh, for that unblockable. You know, wait it out. I'm gonna have to wait out my charges anyway. Now, one benefit, I guess, of running suicides is that Corvus still is hitting pretty decently and I can still do the heavy attacks because of heavy assault and I'm still doing, you know, some good bit of damage. Normally, when his charges are on cooldown, his damage is horrid. But heavy assault, which is why you see me doing a lot of the heavy attacks, uh, combined with the fact that I'm running suicides, makes it not too bad, all right? So now he's got his charges back and I go right into a special two. Of course, all right? Now she's unblockable here. And so I'm just like, all right, um, I got 18 charges. I intercepted her there. A little dangerous, but, you know, feeling frisky. All right. And then I get caught. That's what happens when you start feeling frisky. All right. I got 16 charges here. All right. Uh, she's not unblockable anymore. So I'm going in. Special two. Boom, boom. Didn't do as much damage as I would have liked. Uh, what I should have done, really, is stick to a lot of heavy attacks because of the heavy assault node. Uh, Corvus has a good, strong heavy attack when he has his uh, charges up. She's unblockable again here, again, uh, because of the node. Um, we've got eight charges now left, and I'm just like, man, I want to finish this fight. Let's try to get uh, another special two off. Maybe we can finish her off there. Again, this is Corvus with no charges at all, okay? So we're still going. We still have that boost on, by the way. Um, so that also helps. There we go. Another special two. And she's down to 11%. And I've got four charges. And I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. I've told you guys before, I don't like long fights. That's what happened. I don't like long fights. I looked up and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be able to finish her. And I just get taken out because my attention wandered. Okay. Nothing wrong. I could have soloed that fight, but it was going on too long. I would rather actually, instead of waiting for the charges to come back, I would actually rather just die, come in with somebody else like my girl Wasp here and finish it off real quick rather than wait out another cycle of the charges. All right. But that's it. We got Hella down. Didn't need to use a revive. I consider that path to be a pretty easy path. Not saying it's the only easy path, but it was pretty easy to me. All right. And you can see here I'm using energy so I can get out of the quest. Uh, I don't know why they did that, but you actually need energy. After you finish beating the boss, you still need energy to get out. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, and if you have any questions, ask away and I will try to answer your questions. So take care and you all have a blessed day.